Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Pada hari ini saya akan membentangkan Pasal Statistik Final Project By Group 5, Section 3 Okay, ini adalah uh, Our group member Yang pertama, Muhammad Syahrul Rafdi bin Muhammad Alik Yang kedua, saya sendiri Muhammad Aiman bin Ahmad Irawan Yang ketiga, Muhammad Hafiz Ezam bin Muhammad Sulong yang keempat, Muhammad Adil Amza bin Azhar Dan yang kelima, Faris Daniel bin Zulkifli Okay, for introduction Statistic is the part of uh, mathematic concern uh, With the obtaining, uh, analyzing, evaluating, providing and organizing of data Second, data can be categorized as quantitative or qualitative Qual uh, Quantitative data quantify how much or how many of some exist uh, for qualitative data offer labels or name for groups of similar object Stat uh, statistic play a, a crucial role in many ways especially in a country decision making and planning progress Uh, for example, economic analyzing statistics are uh, uh, used to monitor and analyze the country's economic performance including gross domestic product, GDP, inflation, unemployment and trade data. And lastly, the Department of Statistics Malaysia, DOSM, is a government agency responsible for collecting, compiling, producing, publishing and disseminating uh, official statistics in Malaysia. Okay, untuk uh, chapter 1 uh, iaitu tentang probability distribution function. Okay, uh, di sini uh, kita perlu uh, senaraikan dulu range unemployed people frequency x uh, dan last kali probability px yang pertama 100 hingga 150 orang uh, frekuensi dia adalah 5 probability dia um, 0.1667 okey yang kedua um, seramai 151 hingga 200 orang Frekuensi dia adalah 6 Dan uh, PX dia adalah 0.2 Untuk 201 hingga 250 Frekuensi dia 10 Dan PX dia adalah 0.3333 uh, Dan last kali uh, 251 hingga 300 orang uh, Frekuensi dia adalah sebanyak 9 Dan PX dia adalah 0.3 dan seterusnya kita perlu membuat uh, graf mengikut uh, kita punya uh, jadual yang seterusnya adalah cumulative distribution function of this discrete uh, random variable for monthly unemployed people okey uh, yang pertama kita harus buat um, p x less than 5 equal to 0 p 5 equal to p x less Uh, equal to 5 equal to 0.1667 okey seterusnya adalah um, p6 equal to px less equal 6 uh, equal to px equal to 6 equal to 0.2 okey seterusnya p10 uh, equal to px lebih kurang sama dengan uh, 10 Uh, sama dengan px equal to 10 equal to 0.3333 yang tak ada adalah p9 equal to px less uh, equal 9 equal to px equal 9 equal to 0.3 yang seterusnya adalah uh, kita cari EX dan juga EX kuasa 2. Okey, yang pertama kita cari min dia. EX equal to 5 darab 
uh, 0.1667 tambah 6 darab 0.2 tambah 10 darab 0.3333 tambah dengan 9 darab dengan 0.3 kita akan dapat uh, 0.8335 tambah dengan 1.2 tambah 3.333 tambah dengan 2.7 dan kita akan dapat uh, 8.0665 dan untuk EX kuasa 2 Uh, sama dengan 5 kuasa 2 darab dengan 0.1667 tambah 6 kuasa 2 darab 0.2 uh, tambah 10 kuasa 2 darab 0.3333 tambah dengan 9 kuasa 2 darab 0.3 kita akan dapat 4.1675 uh, tambah dengan 7.2 tambah dengan 33.33 tambah dengan 24.3 dan uh, jumlahnya adalah 68.9975 dan untuk variance uh, VR X equal to E X kuasa 2 tolak dengan E X kuasa 2 ok uh, kita akan dapat 68.9975 uh, tolak 8.9975 0665 kuasa 2 lepas tu uh, kita kira akan dapat 3.9291 uh, and for standard deviation uh, we use the formula uh, then uh, punca kuasa 3.9291 uh, kita akan dapat 1.9821 Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh uh, My name is Muhammad Idam Zah bin Azhar uh, So I will uh, present uh, chapter 2 which is probability distribution function So first of all uh, what is probability distribution application uh, Probability distribution application are numerous and can be found in various fields including statistics, mathematics, finance, science, engineering and more a probability distribution describes how the values of a random variable are distributed. Um, so this is the example for chapter 2. <coughs> In this case study, among 30 months, it is concluded that the employment rate is at least 60% of the population. What is the probability of binomial distribution that the number of people that is un unemployed at least 9 months? So from this uh, question, uh, we can take the 60% SP as a success rate. So uh, it becomes 0 0.6. After that, we need to find Q. Uh, to find Q, we need to uh, 1 minus with the P. So uh, 1 minus 0 0.6. So we get the Q value is 0 0.4. After we get P and Q, we need to input to the this. Uh, equation which is p x greater or equal to 9 uh, why 9 because in this equation it already state that uh, the number of people that is unemployed at least 9 months so uh, we just put the value that we get earlier after that we minus with 1 1 minus with the answer so we get the answer which is 0 0.999 and so on Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Muhammad Syarul Afdi bin Muhammad Halik uh, I will present chapter 3 for our project First, the question is Research is done to investigate the probability of unemployed people A random sample size of 30 months is selected from a population with population mean of 8 0.0665 and population standard deviation of 1.98 to 1 find the probability that the mean type of people in the next 30 months who are unemployed is more than 8.5 so the solution is uh, first we must uh, write the mean of sample mean uh, which is uh, 8.0665 after that we must write the standard deviation of sample mean uh, which is uh, we got from the formula 
and the so the and the answer is 0.3618 after that we must write the distribution in normal distribution form which is uh, in normal distribution form uh, which is we get we got uh, p x sample mean uh, greater than 8.5 after that uh, find the we must find the probability of sample mean and and we get the answer the final answer is 0 0.0244 thank you my name is Muhammad Fizizam. I will explain about chapter 4 in chapter 4 of statistic course. Students will learn about estimation technique, including point and interval estimation and the property of estimator. The course will cover the estimation of population, mean and proportion and the construction of confident interval. The estimation procedure can be extended to population for comparative study. So for the question, first we will, we will find the sample mean, variance and standard deviation. After we get all the standard deviation mean and variance, we will put it into the formula. We will put the value into the formula. So for the formula, at the below is uh, in this formula, they got Z alpha give up by 2. So if it's Z alpha, we will look at, at table 4. We will find the value at the table 4. So after we got the value, we put all the value together and we will get the answer. Thank you. Nah, jadi seterusnya saya akan membentangkan uh, uh, tajuk lima untuk projek kami. Uh, yang pertama, uh, soalan ni ialah a sample of uh, 6,501 unemployed persons were recorded during COVID-19 disease and it show an average age, age of 32.6 years old. By assume, assuming a population standard deviation of 52, is it successful in proving that the mean of age is less than 32 years old today? Use a 0.2 level of significance. Jadi untuk dia punya solution, uh, kita tahu yang dia menggunakan uh, very, uh, apa ni? simple deviation known with single mean. Jadi first kali kita kumpulkan maklumat dia dulu. Uh, kita dapat N sama dengan 6,051 dan dia punya standard deviation ni 52 nak alpha dia 0.2 jadi untuk hypothesis uh, 10 kita kena kita dapat mean dia 32.6 tahun jadi lepas dah kumpulkan semua maklumat tu kita akan cari uh, critical value dia menggunakan uh, left tail test ni Okay, lepas dah habis tu kita akan guna formula Z test uh, uh, iaitu Z test ni formula dia uh, yang telah ditunjukkan tu dan kita akan dapat 0.9303 akhir sekali untuk jawapan dia kita akan conclude uh, concludekan semua ni uh, berdasarkan uh, berdasarkan graf yang kita dapat. Terus sekali, last sekali kita kena konkludkan mm, dengan bagi ayat the test value is 0.093303 which is greater than the critical value. Uh, the decision is do not reject the null hypothesis. There is not enough evidence to support the claim that the mean of age is less than 32 years old. Terima kasih. Hello, Assalamualaikum. My name is Faris Daniel Benzikifi. My metric card is CN220015. So, I will discuss about chapter 6 that is simple linear regression for our case study is for COVID-19 pandemic for unemployment in 2020. So, to find the equation so the uh, formula is y equal to b o beta 0 uh, beta 0 plus beta 1 uh, multiplied by x so we need to find the b1 and b beta b o so b1 equal to s x y divided by s x x for b o 
we need to use the y uh, minus b1 multiplied by x so the first one uh, the first formula b1 so we need to find the s x y and s x x so s x y uh, sum of x i multiply by y i minus 1 divided by n and multiply by sum of x i and multiply by sum of y i so the number is uh, 640,000 for 6,404,618 minus by 1 divide by 30 and multiply by 6,501 after that they multiply by 979 so the answer is 6,194,636 so S uh, that one is for S, X, Y And then we need to find the S, X, X So S, X, X Equal to sum of X uh, Power of 2 Minus by 1 divide N Multiply by sum of X, I So the answer for that is 926,493 so you get the answer for S S Y and S X X. So you can calculate. Uh, you can and then you get you can get the B one. So S S Y divide by S S X. So the answer is six point six eight six one. So after that we need to find the B O. So B O is Y minus B one multiply by x so 6 uh, so we just uh, switch the b o and y so the, uh, it will be 6501 divided by 30 minus by 6.6861 multiply with 997 divided by 3 by 30 so the answer is minus 1.4897 so for example question uh, find a predict uh, unemployment person if the age is 50 years old so the formula for that is y bar i don't know what the name of it equal by minus 1.49 uh, sorry negative 1.4897 plus by 6194636 multiplied by x so the x is the year of the unemployed uh, unemployed person so x is 50 so the answer is 3 million 3 300 million 309 million 731,799 so that's the answer for A to find the unemployed person of uh, if the age is 50 so B is find the coefficient uh, of determination and coefficient of Pearson correlative uh, correlation interpret result so coefficient of determination is the formula is r power by 2 equal to 1 minus s s y divided by s s x so the answer of that is minus 5.6861 the coefficient of Pearson is R equal to SSY divided by square root 
26,493 minus by SYY so before that uh, we didn't get the SYY but the SSY uh, we already get the answer so SYY equal to sum of Y power by 2 minus 1 divide N multiply with sum of y, YI so the answer of that for SYY is 41,388,997 so for SYY and then we put in the in the formula earlier that R equal to SY, uh, SSY divide by square root 926,493 uh, minus by SYY so the answer for R for coefficient of Pearson is minus 966.07030 so that's my answer for unemployment person when in the COVID-19 in 2020 thank you okay for our conclusion is to summarize the major goal of the study was to analyze unemployed person during COVID-19 disease in January 2020 until June 2022 based on this information we developed a question for each of the chapter covered in lecture to analyze the data and derive the relevant conclusion we use numerous statistical approach, approaches and techniques covered during the program Thank you.